Cocker Spaniel. She loves to bark. <coughs> to be fair, I'm abusing the doorbell right now, but... And here we have the Garmin Bark Limiter. Advanced bark correction technology, replaceable battery, collar strap included. This is new from Garmin, just came in. Um, gonna give it a go, see how she works. Um, oh, you're excited. No, I think I'm going to have to open it for you. Alright, that's basically what we have in the box here. Um, and this is the version that comes with, you know, replaceable batteries. There's one that's actually a rechargeable battery. Uh, that was a, about 20 bucks more. Uh, but since I didn't know how effective this would be, I figured at least if I got this version and it didn't work, I, I would feel I didn't waste too much of my money. Um, but this is basically, this is going to go uh, up against her collar. Um, up against her neck and what it does is this doesn't really penalize for um, you know any other type of pleasing barks it's not like the old bark detectors that would actually um, you know buzz whenever she's actually uh, she's getting excited already uh, that doesn't have the it actually has remembers things it actually tells it has a bark counter so you know how many times while you've been away uh, it's been barked uh, the dog's been barking uh, so you can see whether it's working or not and besides that, here in the box is pretty much it. Uh, there's the strap, um, this really big leather sized strap. Um, probably have to, obviously, it's not going to work. I'm going to have to cut it off a little bit uh, for smaller dogs like this. And the manual. And let's check it out. Let's see. Let's see how effective it is. All right. And this is simple enough. You just sort of hook it right through the leash, uh, you know, put it in one end and the other, um, make sure that the side is extending outward uh, where it's going to go around. Uh, you know, the neck contacts, this should be like at the bottom of, her, of you know, your dog's neck. And this is, uh, it's a CR2 battery that's replaceable. It comes with one. Um, it says it has a 10 month life, um, so it should be good to go. And right now it's on N. And then basically, let me just turn this, you can use any coin to sort of turn it on. I'm going to set. Uh, you know, by intensity level, it's like from one to seven. Uh, they say to start low um, and then just work it up if you think it needs to be more intense. Uh, I'm gonna just start at two. Uh, maybe I should start at three. Start at three and see if that uh, that does the trick. And it should be down here. It says it takes about 30 seconds uh, for it to actually kick in. And Oh, she's getting excited already. I guess I can just try to put it on her now. Uh, I'm not going to be able to hold the camera while I'm doing this. And yeah, basically it said to cut off any excess leash, which obviously this collar here um, is going to be way too long. So I'm going to make sure I trim that down a little bit. Uh, you know, give her a few, you know, three, four inches beyond the hoop to make sure I can, you know, slip it on in the future. So let's see what it looks like on her. Okay. So this is the next day, um, and what happened was after we tried it on, we had originally set it on like the three, uh, and she would be barking up. So we tried the V and the A, which V is when it just vibrates, and the A is the automatic setting where it adjusts automatically. Um, and you're supposed to wait about 24 hours, uh, but just out of lack of patience, uh, uh, we moved it up to like five, six, not all the way up to seven, uh, which is like the highest setting. And it really did make a difference. There'd be passing cars and stuff like that, and uh, just people walking down the sidewalk in front of our house. Normally, she'd react to that, and once in a while, you know, the siren would go off outside. You know, uh, you know, sometimes she'd have a little bark or two, but that was it. It wasn't the incessant barking from before. So, I'm gonna give her the ultimate test, which is again the doorbell. She barks like a banshee most of the time. Uh, so let's see if she's a full barker at this point. still barking but if you notice towards the end she was sort of growling uh, just keeping it low I think she started to realize that 
um, you know, the little vibration on that or, you know, little corrective feature is actually working. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's never going to eliminate the full bark. I don't think that'll ever do it. I don't think you want that uh, to eliminate the bark. You don't want a complete silent dog or else you'd have like a Basenji or something like that. Uh, but, you know, at first uh, it was a little frustrating thinking that it wasn't going to work. Uh, but now we're optimistic, uh, you know, uh, a day in. And I uh, think that this Garmin, uh, you know, uh, new little Garmin uh, bark uh, collar uh, will actually work. So that's this review. What do you think? Did you like your collar? See? There you hear the birds? Normally she'd be all over that with a bark, but she's like, eh, it's not worth it. You know, it's sort of like she's prioritizing her barks now. Uh, so that's just about as good as can be expected. Good dog.